Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I just got a drone for Christmas. I've got a DJI Phantom 3 standard, which I can't wait to take out and fly around. Um, but obviously to do that, I'm going to need to connect my phone to it. And this is where I had some problems. And this is why I'm making this video, hoping to help you connect your Phantom or your DJI drone uh, to your Android phone. Now, this seems to be an issue with uh, newer Android phones and the way uh, Wi-Fi networks are configured. So basically, what I believe is happening here is on any new Android device, when you connect to a Wi-Fi network that um, doesn't have an internet connection, your data connection defaults back to 4G. Now, if you're connecting to the DJI Phantom, there's obviously no internet connection there. So it's trying to pass data back through the 4G connection, which you don't want. You just want it to go data to the, to the Phantom. So I think that's what the problem is here. And that's why if you're trying to connect the DJI to Go app and you've followed the procedures and you've connected to the network and it's still saying how to connect and you can't get onto your drone, this is how to fix it. So the first thing you need to do is go into airplane mode which I had already connected but there's airplane mode now now the next thing you want to do is once you've turned airplane mode on is turn on your Wi-Fi now let's see what's going on here right so it's trying to connect to my home network but I'm going to tell it I want to connect to the phantom now the phantom network Password, I believe, is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Connect. So now I'm connected to my drone. And as you can see, it's connected. There's no internet. So now, theoretically, this should be trying to, um, you know, if I had didn't have airplane mode on, my internet connection will be trying to go through my 4G. So now in this case, what will happen is if you go to the DJI to go app, what you'll find is that once you choose your, there it is, Phantom 3 is standard. Now where it says camera, uh, usually or what was happening earlier without this workaround, I was getting a how to connect a tab there but now the camera's open but also what you're going to find is the first time you do all this what's going to happen is you'll be able to register your drone and it will give you an option of you know uh, joining your your home wi-fi connection at that point um, don't try to do that again over 4g it doesn't seem to work so uh, stay at home connect to your wi-fi register your drone and once you've registered you'll be faced with this screen which you'll then be able to click on camera and um, now you can see you know my drone's not on but I'm actually connecting to it um, so that's really the way to do it and that seems to be on sort of newer Android devices I dare say the Pixel this is the Nexus 6P I would imagine Nexus 6 or any type of Android phone that is on uh, at least Android uh, 7 uh, possibly even six I don't know I haven't tested it but yeah that's probably going to be the workaround to connect uh, your DJI Go app to your Phantom I hope that helps and I hope it saves you some time